Good evening and welcome to Goa 365. I'm Amanda Alfonso. First, the headlines. Taligao MLA supporters take law into their hands. Clash between them and the Youth Congress members. Three injured and vehicles damaged. Kolwa police provide protection to illegal Kolwa Night Bazaar. Sin Pass, the 10th Convent High School, completes 50 years. And Christmas black paintings evoke the festive mood. Now for our top story. As promised by the Taligao MLA Babush Monsurat, the first blood over the IT habitat was drawn in his constituency near his house this morning when Youth Congress members clashed with the supporters of the Taligao MLA in the presence of the former Town and Country Planning Minister. This morning, Goa Pradesh Youth Congress, who have taken a pro-IT habitat stand, led by their president Salkam Amonkar, decided to hold a protest in front of the residence of the Taligao MLA for objecting to the IT habitat at Donapol in his constituency. However, Babush's supporters were also waiting for the youth members at his residence. The moment hundreds of Youth Congress members reached Taligao, almost 200 meters away from the residence of the Taligao strongman, his supporters broke through the police cordon and attacked the protesters. And the police were mute spectators despite the presence of senior officers like DYSP Mohan Naik, Police Inspector Seraphin Das and PSI Brendan. In the clash that followed, vehicles were stoned, overthrown and destroyed. The Youth Congress members seemed to have been caught unawares as many of them were brutally attacked and had to be rushed to hospitals. After the clash, the Taligao MLA made his appearance at the scene. He said that he will not tolerate anybody dictating terms to him in his constituency. He dared the Youth Congress to step into his constituency regarding the matter. See, first and foremost, Chief Minister and the Minister who is accused of this land scam, Mr. Narvikar, both are gone to Delhi yesterday. I don't know if this is a ploy, in fact, to send a Congress uh, youth here and to create a ruckus in my constituency. This is clear. This. I have told now and then, no IT habitat in the form of land scam is going to come to my constituency. And I dare the Congress youth come to come to con my constituency back again with the same pr uh, proposal. I am very clear. If Chief Minister wants to prove a point that IT habitat is good for the people in this form, let him take it in his constituency. I will mo most uh, welcome. Let him set an example. Because the leaders are the person who should set an example. So let Mr. Uh, 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 um, Dikambar Kamath set an exa uh, example to others, saying that IT habitat was good in this form, so that's the reason I am taking it in, my con uh, in his constituency. So please uh, uh, listen. And I am very clear. Let no one dictate the terms of what is going to come in my in the Taligam constituency to the people of Taligam. The Congress youth should be aware and they should keep off from the boundaries of this constituency in the name of uh, IT habitat. DYSP Mohan Naik informed that a case has been registered against the culprits and action will be initiated. Uh, uh, we had registered a case in the incident and we will uh, uh, book the culprit involved in this uh, damaging of vehicles and other assault etc. In the recent past, the village of Kolva and the Kolva police have been in the news, but for all the wrong reasons. Initially, it was over the bull fight where enthusiasts manhandled the police party which had scooped down to stop the fight. More recently, police inspector Edwin Colasso acted in partisan manner, arrested two Kolva punch members for alleged assault on the panchayat secretary and that too without a complaint. While the elected representative were arrested at 8 p.m., the complaint was lodged only at midnight. Ironically, yesterday when a villager, 
Geraldo Fernandez lodged his complaint with the police against commencement of the illegal Kolwa night bazaar. Police did nothing. In fact, provided police protection to carry on the activity. The organizers of the Kolwa night bazaar yesterday conducted it without the permission of the panchayat body and the police were mute spectators. However, though the organizers did bring a letter from the director of the panchayat Menino de Souza directing the panchayat body to issue the permission sarpanch suzi fernandez telephonically informed us that panchayat body could not take a call on the issue as the secretary savio fernandez did not attend office hence the meeting could not be held the kolwa police not only shelved the complaint of the villager and turned a nelson's eye to the illegal activity Police Inspector Edwin Colasso personally visited the night bazaar and spent more than 30 minutes there. When we confronted the police inspector about allowing illegal activities in his area, he brandished a letter from Director of Panchayat to indicate he has permitted it. It is for them to take up the issue with the government. Whoever, whoever is aggrieved, whoever is aggrieved mm. by the decision of a higher authority, it is for them to take up the matter yeah. with the government. But uh, even in construction licenses, the file goes to the panchayat. Panchayat forward seat. Forward seat. No, no, no. no, no. Let us not argue on this. Yeah. Please. Why? No, let us not no, argue on this. What, what is your role at all? For what is your role? For what? You got a complaint. Have you checked same, out? Same. Same what? You got a complaint. Same what? From a villager that the market is being uh, operated illegally. Illegally? No. Yeah. You have no. not received a complaint. Not received any complaint. Okay. You have you checked up with the uh, checked up with the panchayat whether they have issued. How do I say? On what, on what basis should I check up with someone? On what basis? Man, with this basis. With, with what basis? This basis. Kya karna? For what? Right? But panchayat has to issue all. Are patra wasi? Patra? You are unnecessary. No, 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 no. I am not arguing. No, I am not arguing. Just tell me whether you have informed or oh, patra is that my duty? Saying that they have operated with illegal. And I will take up the matter with the superiors, and we'll mm. we'll we'll do whatever within the legal framework of law. Mm. We'll do it. Okay. However, the panchayat director Menino de Souza denies that he has the power to issue permission. Before a panchayat issues a license, I know she has to be taken from the government. Okay. So then afterwards, uh, chief secretary has heard them because there is also direction from the high court, okay. and then a uh, permission has been given from the government side, okay. and which the afterwards after subsequent to that, the panchayat has to issue a license. Is that true? So that must have been given. Director of panchayat doesn't come into picture. Only thing is we forward application which come close to the government. When the police inspector was questioned whether he had checked excise license to sell alcohol at the Kolwa night bazaar, he claimed it is the duty of the excise department. When questioned whether he had informed them, he replied in negative. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm not drunk. Just tell me whether you have informed or not. Oh, is that my duty? When brought to his notice that amplified music was being played beyond the prescribed time. He said that he did not have a decibel meter. There is loud music. Okay. You want me to go sue mode and stop? <laughs> Why not? Can can't you? You can do it. You you. We're still into a short commercial break now. Stay with us.